What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz and today I want to talk about the state of Black Ops 4 Zombies, where we're at, and why it was not quite what I expected. This game here coming from Black Ops 3, I think we all can agree, is quite different. So in this video I wanted to take some time to dig through the end game and how it's impacting the current player base that's playing Zombies right now. So down in the comment section, if you're currently playing Black Ops 4 Zombies, let me know your rank, your level progression. I'm currently Prestige Master, level 122, and still grinding, but not near as much as I have been. And for those of you who aren't interested in Black Ops 4 anymore, just let me know down in the comment section why. I totally get it. And I wanted to talk about the end game, because it's very much impacting the community that's here right now. Black Ops 4 didn't just die, it was murdered. And this season pass is in total jeopardy because of it. The microtransactions in this game, to be frank, are really just turning people off. They're things that aren't interesting and won't last in the end game when it comes to was this worth it? When it comes to zombies easter eggs, the hype is just here until it's beaten and then it's gone. Another one is customizing your prestige icon when you reach level 1000 on your grind there. We now have dark matter in zombies. This was just added, and it might have been just too late. And already something they did in Black Ops 3. Now we have War Paints. This is another thing, but these come from the events, specifically the special events hosted in Black Ops 4. We're getting War Paints through that. And I guess special event callings too, like the Halloween calling. And even on top of all of that, we have two new game modes, Rush Mode and Gauntlet Mode, where the new maps are being included into these modes, but slowly. Rush Mode's getting them right away, but Gauntlet Mode they're releasing one at a time, and I think this is problematic. But these modes work hand in hand with the daily tier skip, reaching round 15 gets you that, and your daily calling. Those two features work great with these new two modes here in Zombies. So I mean, what we can gather is that the base game of Zombies does have something to offer. It's okay. It's just that Treyarch's execution on updating this game is not what they promised. Dark Matter didn't pan out how we expected. A lot of people expected Dark Matter to come from multiplayer, be transferable while you earned it over there, back into Zombies. That did not happen, but on October 26th of 2018, Treyarch specifically said in their patch notes that that was going to happen. So now we're in this position where we all have the same Dark Matter in every single mode, they're not different colors. What's going on with this? Why is this an issue? This is just one of the questions that needs to be asked. Further questioning can go on, we can keep this conversation going, but at the end of the day, where Zombies lies in the big scale of things is just a party game mode, an arcade mode that Treyarch's treating as something not nearly as important as multiplayer or Blackout. They believe that's what's actually selling the game, even though we all personally know DLC 5 Chronicles and Black Ops 3 Zombies sold massive numbers. Numbers that set records. And if you're a longtime veteran of Zombies, if you've been playing for the last 10 years, you know Treyarch wants to produce quality. And that's why the base game is so good. Where I think the DLC microtransactions, the DLC drops in general with map packs and weapons happening here in Zombies is so slow, it's all because of Activision. And something we can expect probably later this year is an addition to the Black Ops Pass itself. What storyline do we want the most here in Zombies? We want the Ether storyline, the Richthofen storyline to continue, but we're just being fed all this crap, this whole new storyline where we got a prequel for DLC 1, which is not nearly as good as Dreisendrak in my opinion. So what is this setting up for? At the end of the road, what is this setting up for when it comes to Zombies? Because all I see right now is I'm going to Blackout. I don't got no reason to be playing Zombies. It's sort of wasting my time. But I think what we're going to see at the end of this rainbow is another DLC 5 expansion pack for the Season Pass offering the Ether maps that we've wanted this whole time. This is my current prediction. I've played all the Zombie Season Passes that have been offered so far. So from what I've experienced, this is the direction I'm thinking it's going to go. i got no reason to believe otherwise. Black Ops 4 Zombies is just not what I expected, man. Let me know how you guys are feeling down in the comment section below. What's your current level progression in Black Ops 4, or are you even playing this game? Let me know. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. Love to have you along all the way through the Black Ops Pass. Activate push notifications, a little bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all the latest updates and patch notes. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. I'll see you in the next one. Violent out.